This is a classic shakshuka recipe, originated from North Africa. I chose to make this dish because I like a spicy breakfast. It's also very good to eat when you want to recover after a long night of partying. For this recipe you'll need one red bell pepper, two small onions or one medium, cumin, sweet paprika, chili powder, about one and a half pounds or 780 grams chopped canned tomatoes, three cloves of garlic, parsley or coriander and four eggs. Start by chopping the onions, then peel the garlic and chop it finely or crush it. After that cut the bell pepper into small cubes. Add olive oil to a preheated pan at medium heat, then add the chopped onions. Reduce the heat to low and let them sweat for around 5 to 7 minutes until translucent. Add the garlic and let it cook for 20 seconds. Then add 1 teaspoon of paprika, half a teaspoon of chili powder and half a teaspoon of cumin. Then mix for 30 seconds. After that add the bell pepper and mix, then cook for 1 minute. Add the tomatoes and one teaspoon of salt, then mix everything well. Let it simmer at medium heat for 5 to 7 minutes until the sauce reduces around a quarter. Make 4 spaces in the sauce and add the eggs in them. Put the lid on and let it cook for 5 minutes to get poached eggs. I left mine 7 minutes because I like them cooked hard. Keep in mind the eggs are still cooking after you take the pan off the heat. At the end sprinkle some black pepper over and chopped parsley or coriander or both. You can serve with the pan in the middle for everyone to share or you can put each serving in a bowl where you can soak in the bread to your liking. Try to get a little of something in every bite. This classic shakshuka is a great fresh breakfast to share with your friends and family. It goes well for when you need a boost of energy besides coffee. You get the boost from the spiciness and from the protein from the eggs. Enjoy! Thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this video press like and subscribe to see more videos like this. Let me know in the comments if you have questions or how your classic shakshuka turned out when you tried it at home.